Wagon's home! Mr. Lyle, you have got to keep your voice down just a bit, okay? How many times do I have to tell you, girl, the name is Judd? Uh, Judd, Judd, yes, I remember that. But you just remember where you are, okay? This is for West, not the Wild West. Sounds like quibbling to me, but if you insist, move them out! Good. All right, is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Hey, 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 hey wait a minute, wait. How you doing, Mrs. George? Just fine, yeah. enjoying the Good. ride. I'm glad to hear it, thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. I am so sorry. No, I'm sorry. sorry. It's my fault. I wasn't looking where well, I was going. Well, neither was I. Let me give you a hand here. Rick, you run away, Dogie? Yes, I see it. I got a hold right. of it here. Oh. 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 I'll be glad I don't have to do this stuff any longer. Mm -hmm. Job's not that bad. Especially when we're left to do it in peace. You mean when Madame India's not around? Did I say that? Heaven forbid. <laughs> Still, I am bound for better things. Oh? Mm-hmm. As soon as they hold that Samson girl contest, I'll be set for life. You sure will be. After I win the contest, I'll make you part of my entourage. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I ran into Jackson over at company yesterday, and I asked him what they were looking for in the Samson girl. Really? What did he say? A whole bunch of things. And they all added up to me. I'm going to win this contest, Peggy. I just know I am. I am going to be crowned the Samson girl. It's so good to see you. And Alex, I missed you. Oh, I've missed you, too. You were away a lot longer than you expected. So what? So tell me, was it a success? Oh, we can talk about that later. You said on the phone that you had some news for me. What is it? I am divorcing India. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guiding light. So, uh, just to be on the safe side and prove to Mr. Niven that he won't be singled out, I've subpoenaed all the neighbors. Uh, don't you think that's a good idea, boss? Boss. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, I've subpoenaed the neighbors. All of them? Yes. I thought... Lionel, well, this is an open and shut case. All we need is Niven's testimony. But Mr. Nivens lives next door to the guy. He's afraid that he might be hassled. But if everyone testifies, then... Then the judge will be hassled. Well, it shouldn't take more than an extra hour or so. I see. Can you guarantee that? No, but I wouldn't think that the judge would mind. You wouldn't think. I do. Look, boss. You assign this case to me. If you don't like the way I'm handling it, then maybe you should take over. Right, maybe I should, Lionel. Fine. Be my guest. We're a little rough with Lionel, don't you think, just mm -hmm. now? He has to learn to be more open to suggestions. Ross. It's not like you to take your frustrations out on somebody. Something bothering you? What makes you say that? Would you like to talk about it? Vanessa, <laughs> nothing is wrong. It's Callum. I knew it. I knew it. All right, now what, what's going on? What's happening? I wish I knew. I took her out to dinner last night mm -hmm. at the Blue Orchid, and we were having a great time, mm -hmm. joking, talking. And? But? But I could tell that something was wrong. Calla was upset about something. And finally, she told me that this would be our last date. Your last date? Why? Because of Alexandra Spolin. I don't get it. I don't blame you. 
Mr. Keller said that Alexandra is still furious at me for defending Billy. In Alexandra's mind, I chose the Lewises over the Spaldings, you see. And since Calla is now working for Alexandra... Oh, she's afraid she's going to lose her job by going out with you. Exactly. Vanessa, here I go again. Calla and I could have had something special, something very special. But now it's all off because of this paranoia of hers. Well, it may not be paranoia. I mean, if Alexandra's really that angry... She... Angry, maybe, but there are limits. She can't despise me enough to fire somebody simply for dating me. Well, no, you wouldn't think so, oh, but... Vanessa, to... come on, be reasonable, would you? Alexandra is ruthless, but she's not that ruthless. <laughs> oh, darling... <laughs> That is the best news I've heard in a long, long time. I knew you'd be pleased about the divorce. Pleased? Oh, that doesn't begin to describe how I feel. This family's been under a cloud ever since that woman weaseled her way into it. Now, finally, to be rid of her? What an incredible relief. Oh, I know. I feel the exact same way. Boy, I'm just glad it's finally over. Of course you are. But I was afraid I would never hear you say those words. In fact, I thought I was going to have to take matters into my own hands, and soon. You did? Well, something had to be done. That witch cast a very powerful spell on you. Oh, uh, and Alex, it really wasn't quite like that. Oh, I know you couldn't see it, darling, but that's the problem with spells. Fortunately, India broke it all by herself. Her affair with Simon was just so blatant. Well, and Alex, Simon wasn't the reason we split up. Oh, no. Well, no. Indy and I, we both decided to make a go of it, and well, what we finally realized that we got married for all the wrong reasons. I won't dispute that. Deception and blackmail make a rather unattractive trousseau. Well, that's all behind us now. Yes, indeed. And things are back where they should be for us. For India, even. Last, she's hooked up with someone who deserves her. Oh, those two will make an ideal couple. No doubt they'll while away the hours, vying with each other over who's the most outrageous liar. And, Alex, was Simon lying when he claimed to be your father's illegitimate son? Of course. Don't tell me you believed him. But, so, in other words, you found proof. You can discredit what he said. I don't have to. The man is an imposter. I know he is. And I'm going to see to it that he rues the day he ever tried to pull a charade like this on the Spaldings. So what are you going to do? You'll see. Oh, come on. Tell me. I want to know. Uh-oh. All in good time, Philip. All in good time. Meanwhile, let's discuss a more pleasant subject. Like when exactly will Miss Von Halkine be out of sight and mind? India is staying in Springfield. She's not. Oh, Lord, she's not going to try to brazen it out here. Well, no matter. I will speak to every realtor in town and have her blacklisted. India will not find it easy to stay without a roof over her head. And Alex, she already has a roof over her head. I'm giving her the house as part of the settlement. No. Yes, and as far as her job goes... You can't intend to let her keep that. India is the best manager that the Foundation has ever had. I don't want to lose her. Hi. Uh, I guess maybe I should enter the uh, Easter egg rolling contest this Easter. <laughs> So, what are you doing here? Uh, H.P.'s come in for his check. Oh, just routine? Yeah, just routine. Glad to hear it. How's the family? Fine. I bet little Billy's getting so big What's I wouldn't even recognize What's going on, Reva? What are you doing on your hands and knees cleaning the floor? Well, I'm working here now. Do you work here? What, are you volunteer? No, I'm a paid employee. I don't get it. You mean like a nurse's aide? Not like a... I am a nurse's aide. <laughs> Well, how long have you been doing this for? I started last week. It's an incredible job, too. It's more than I ever thought it was. There's a lot involved. I mean, I don't just make beds or, or, or uh, fill water jugs. I, I take patients for walks. I, um, I give them baths. I give them alcohol rubs. And sometimes I even get to take a pulse or two. <laughs> Big responsibility. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yep. I mean, I haven't really learned all the ropes yet, but uh, before too long, I'm going to be right up there with the best of them. All right, good morning, Billy. Good morning, H.B. Good morning, Doc. Uh, Jody? Yes, Dr. Bauer. 
Will you take Mr. Lewis to one of the examining rooms? Right away. I'll be there in a few minutes. Excuse me. This way, Mr. Jody, Lewis. would you mind terribly if I took Mr. Lewis? Uh, I'd like that, if that's okay with you, nurse. Of course. Here, take his turn. Thank you. Here, you take that. Oh. <laughs> Hold on here. Uh, You're not deserting us, are you, Reva? Uh, no, no, no. I'll be back in a few minutes. You don't mind the wait now, do you? I'd wait for you till the cows come home. <laughs> So they go back out to pasture, too. <laughs> Get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? I'm making my own way now. You don't have to. But I want to. And I'm enjoying every minute of it, too. So, right this way, sir. Watch the eggs. I assume this is your idea of a joke, Miss Shane. A joke? Yes, and let me tell you. It's in very poor taste. I suppose you're talking about me entering the Samson Girl contest. Mm -hmm, and I'm warning you. I will not hear another word on the subject. Do you understand? Not one more word. Okay. I won't talk about it here, but I'm still going to be a contestant. You most certainly will not be. Have you got some kind of a problem no, here? you have the problem. A total lack of judgment to begin with. Aren't you aware that Samson Industries is the competition? Don't you realize how embarrassing it would be if word got out that one of the Foundation's employees was vying for the honor of representing the competition? That is absurd. You should even know that. And look around you. Do you see one other employee even thinking of such a ludicrous idea? So what if I am the only one that doesn't make it bad? You will forget all about the contest. No, I won't. I'm going to enter that contest, and I'm going to win it. I see I have to make it a little more clear to you, Roxy. You have a choice. You either give up the idea, or you give up your job. Sir, you can change right through there. Why didn't you come to me? If you needed something to fill up your time, my Billy and I could have arranged a position for you at Samson Lewis. I already told you, Harlan, I want to work here. I don't believe it. Why not? The job's respectable, it's honest. Sure it is, and honorable. But it's damn tough, too. Well, I don't mind tough work. Well, then why did you give Billy and me the censored version of what your job is? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, you just happen to leave out a few things when listing your duties, such as bedpans, mopping up after people when they get sick to their stomachs. What Give is it... your point, Harlan? That you deserve better, darling. You deserve what you're qualified for. And that's nurse's aid for me. You're not doing this for the fun of it. You're broke, ain't you? Reva Shane, I let you talk me out of giving you a settlement when we were divorced. That's because we thought you were just about to marry Kyle. Well, now, seeing how things have changed, I am giving you that settlement right now. No, you are not. I have already taken too much from you. There's no taking involved, Reva. I'm giving it to you. You were my wife. You got it coming to you. I appreciate your concern, Harlan, but I don't need your money. You know that's not true. I don't need anything from you. Except understanding. Now, listen here, Reva. No, you, you... listen to me. Reva, Please. Now... I loved you when we were married. But I didn't love myself. What? How could I? I was lost inside. I didn't know who I was, or where I was, or what direction I was headed in. But now you do, working here. Yeah. I got this job myself. I'm making a living on my own. I mean, my life finally has a focus. It has a meaning that I've created. So you see, it doesn't matter if, I, if I'm cleaning up after other people's messes or, or if I'm chasing down hard-boiled eggs. I'm doing this all on my own steam now. I finally am able to take each day as it comes. I've arrived, Harlan. I feel like I have finally arrived. And as far as I'm concerned, sweetie, there's no better place to be. You really feel that way? I really do. And you're happy?
That's all I ever wanted for you. I know. And I know something else, too. What? If you don't get yourself dressed pronto, I'm going to have to revert to some of the strong-arm tactics that some of the orderlies have been teaching me around here. Ouch! <laughs> here you are, sir. Uh, little blue gown. Yeah. <laughs> It is out of the question. India cannot stay on at the foundation. She can, and she will. No, I will not permit it. And Alex, I still control the foundation. Whether or not India stays or goes is up to me and me alone. Try to be reasonable, Philip. I am being reasonable. And Alex, India has done wonders since she's been at the foundation. I, I'd be a fool to let her go. You'll be a fool if you think you can trust her as far as you can throw her after you're divorced. Look, and Alex, you can think whatever you'd like, but she stays, and that's that. When are you going to stop protecting that woman? I am not protecting her. She's a valuable member of this team. T team She doesn't know the meaning of the word. She's only out for herself. You won't be able to control her. Look, I don't want to discuss this anymore, all right? <sighs> and I thought Brandon was stubborn. <laughs> well... At least I know there is one person who can get you to listen to reason. And who's that? Beth. I'll talk to her about this. And Alex, please don't drag Beth into this now. I won't have to. Beth will be only too happy to steer you right on this. And Alex, Beth doesn't have time to referee our squabbles. She's... she's busy working with Jackson Fremont. She's involved with him again? Yeah, they're, uh, they're working on a project together. What project? The, um, the Samson Girl project. The Samson Girl campaign. The, the Samson Girl campaign? I don't believe it. Beth is working for Kyle Samson? How could she do this to us? How could she? That's not fair. Alexander should not hold a grudge against you for defending Billy. You took the case for humanitarian reasons. I took it out of friendship, too. I know. I'll never forget that. I, I feel awful if this is causing a problem for oh, you. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Vanessa, you don't have to apologize. If what Calla said is true, then it's Alexandra who has the problem. Well, she's making it your problem. Maybe. I just can't believe she could be this big. Lord knows, though, she has a will of iron. And I know she hates any kind of disloyalty. I was not being disloyal. Of course you weren't. And under normal circumstances, she'd realize that. But it's not a normal time for her. Lujak just died. Maybe. There should be a way to get through to her. There must be. Kala really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we go way back. Met her in high school. You what? You mean... You mean you were high school sweethearts? I was drawn to her more so than to any other person I've ever known. A lot more. Oh. Well, why didn't it work out? My fault, I suppose. I certainly wasn't ready to handle feelings that went that deeply. Anyway, she uh, then ended up marrying the star of the football team, Gordon Matthews, and she moved from Springfield shortly thereafter. Ross. I've known you for a long time. I went out with you for a long time. You never said anything about this. Water under the bridge. So naturally, I tried to forget it. Uh, I told myself that it was teenage infatuation. I, I genuinely believed that. Until I saw her again at Mindy's wedding. And all those old feelings, they just came rushing back. Did she feel the same thing? She started to. I, you know, I know this could work. We could make it work. I know it. If Calla would only give it half a chance. Well, I don't know. You've got a real problem if she's really afraid of Alexander's reaction. Listen, I can understand one being worried about losing one's job, but that doesn't have to happen. I know it doesn't. All right. Well, then you've got to prove it to Calla. Yes, I should prove it. Right, Vanessa, hold down the fort, would you? Sure. Oh, and, uh, would you apologize to Lionel if he ever comes back? Yes. Where are you going? 
I'm going to confront the obstacle head on. I'm going to have a little chat with Alexander. Thank you. Oh, Lord, Roxy, what are you going to do? I'm not going to give up the contest, that's for sure. What about your job? She had no right coming down on me that way. I agree, I know. She was out of place. Spalding Foundation? Oh, Sandra, hi. Oh, do tell, do tell. He said that? Are you sure? Oh, yeah. That's a good one, all right. I owe you one. What's up? Philip's over at Spalding Enterprises with his aunt. Yes? Sandra was just serving him coffee. She overheard. Philip's divorcing him, dear. Oh, well, if you ask me, it's about time he smartened up and got rid of her. Amen. <laughs> no wonder India's been a real regular Mrs. Hyde today. Yeah. Well, bad mood or not, I'll be darned if I'm gonna let her take it out on me. Ooh, I think he's cute, too. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Doctor, yeah, your patient's waiting for you in the examining room. Thank you, Reva. You're I'm welcome. <laughs> okay, you two, it's time to go. Already, I just tucked Irene into a game of pinato. Oh, nice hand, but you have got uh, an appointment in X-ray in ten minutes, and you're due for an exercise session in the pool. I'll take Mrs. George Reva. No, 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 you don't. You really don't have to. No, I'll really. Take... Listen, I owe you one after slamming into you this morning. <laughs> okay, okay, thanks. And I will see. I'll have those flowers arranged in your room just the way you like them, Mrs. Thanks George. So <laughs> Swim time. What's the rush? No feet dragging. You're supposed to be in there exercising. Now go. You know how better you feel after your, your session? Yeah, but I feel even better after one of your back rubs. How about it? Ah, go wheel yourself to the pool but, right now. But go. I... Go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that orderly. <sighs> so how's HB? He's just fine. Reeve, you seem pretty fine working here. I am. I can't tell you how much more in touch I feel here than I ever did up there on that hill. Was it really that bad for you on the hill? Billy, there are all kinds of prisons, even gilded ones. Up there, even for all the advantages, I felt so cut off from life. But now I feel like I'm right in the thick of it again, like, like I've come home. I feel like I finally found out where the party is. <laughs> <laughs> great. I'm real happy for you, Reed. Thanks, Billy. So how's Vanessa? Well, matter of fact, she got herself a job, too. She's working for Ross Marlowe. No kidding. <laughs> well, be sure to congratulate her for me. I will. Say, as a matter of fact, um... What? Did you do me a favor and, uh, take H.B. out to the car when he's through? No problem. You got someplace to go? Yeah, I got a little, uh, congratulating of my own to do. Oh. I'll see you. Bye-bye. Judd, what are you doing? Well, what'd it feel like? <laughs> enough is enough. Never. You're missing your physical therapy. Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Watch out. You better. Watch out. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. What is so bad about Beth working for Kyle Sampson? Sampson is the competition. He's the enemy. <sighs> this isn't war, Ann Alex. This, this is all Fremont's fault. Yes, it, it has to be. Beth, Beth would never, ever betray us without being under some kind of pressure. Alex, Beth isn't betraying us. She's doing her job. Oh, Fremont has conned her. Or used that silly charm of his to confuse her. I will have to think of a way to counter that. Will you that... please stop? There's no point to this. There is no point in blaming other people for decisions that Beth and I have made on our own. And Alex, Beth wants to work on that campaign. I want India to stay at the foundation. You're a Spalding, damn it. So? You have responsibilities to your family, to the dynasty your grandfather built. You have to protect them from harm, and that means from people like India. She is a disease, Philip, an infection. And if you allow her to remain in our midst and fester... And Alex, you know perfectly well that if the family really needs me, that if you really need me, I'll be there in a second. But that just isn't the case here. It is! It isn't! 
Look, I can't just drop everything and, and leap into the fray every time you imagine that there's some sort of a threat. And Alex, I do have my own life. Well, that life won't be worth living if you don't get rid of that woman once and for all. Oh. You and I can handle the Foundation perfectly well without India. We'll make a great team. And you'll see that once you assume your rightful position here at Spalding Enterprises. And Alex, I am not going to be working at Spalding. India will stay at the Foundation. And I am not going to let you run my life for me. I will not tolerate your obstinance. Do you hear me? Sorry. Am I interrupting something? Get out of my office. Now. Oh, Lionel. Ross was way out of line. He knows that he's really sorry. What happened? Uh, did you twist his arm or something? I didn't have to twist his arm. He values you very highly. You must know that. I used to think so until, uh, after what he said about this case. Oh, he didn't mean a word of what he said. Not one word. He, he thinks you're doing a wonderful job. Really? Really. You're just going to go into court, and you are going to win that case for us. Aren't you? You bet I'm going to win. Thank you, Vanessa. Sure. Knock them dead. Right. <laughs> Ross Marler's office. Oh. Yes, hello, Mrs. Matthews. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but Ross isn't here right now. No, I, uh, I don't know when he's going to be back. But I do know where he went. Uh, well, uh, yes, he went to see Alexandra Spaulding. Try and, uh, I think he said, straighten things out. Uh, oh, um, yes. Yes, I'll tell him. Yes, goodbye. <sighs> Hello. Hi. Well, are you here to see me or Ross? You. Oh, dear, what about? I need your help. Help with what? Do you think you can manage that? I don't know. It depends what it's about. Legal advice. You see, I have this wife and she took a job. And I was uh, just wondering what the law books say I should do about it. I don't know. Does your does your wife enjoy her work? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, is she good at her work? Oh, 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 she's the best. Well, I don't know what the law books say, but why don't you just forget about it and just just be happy for for her and for you? I am happy. One more question. What? Just how do I congratulate you with them? Um, red roses? Oh. Or pink roses? Oh, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, a 20% cut. Oh, you think that's inadequate funding, do you? Well, maybe you should try getting by with nothing. Oh, good. You've made your decision. I have. I don't know why it took me so long. Neither do I. You will give up that absurd Samson girl contest. I wouldn't give this contest up for anything. Least of all for a job with you. I beg your pardon. Oh, you heard me. You may be a big shot in society, India, but you haven't got an ounce of class when it comes to being a boss. Working for you has been a nightmare. 
just snob. You are out of line. Up till now, I felt kind of sorry for you, so I just kind of let it roll off my back. But today, today it is unreal how rude you have been. I know why, of course, Philip's divorcing you, but that still does not give you the right to take it out that on me. That is enough. No, it's not. I am tired of putting up with your grief. I'm going to enter this contest, India, and I'm going to win it. So you can take this job and you can... Get out. Gladly. Uh, maybe I should leave this door open. Because you're going to be following me out of here before long. Just as soon as Philip gets his divorce. Get out of here! Lighten up. When that happens, you can spend all your free time watching me be the Samson girl on TV. <laughs> How am I doing? Fine. Except your blood pressure is slightly elevated. Serious? I don't think so. Just a minor adjustment in your medication should take care of it. That is, if you have been following my orders to cut out all of those bad habits of yours. Of course I have. Your word is law, Doc. Oh. You old liar. Reva! Who are you calling liar, woman? That's a God's truth. Then look me straight in the eye and tell me that you haven't had a single cigar or glass of bourbon in the last 24 hours. The no, last 24 hours? Go on. Say it. How <laughs> you got me, Reba? I don't know what you're laughing at, Harlan. Your health is no joke. Okay, okay. How's this? I promise, on my honor, never to smoke another stogie or sip another bourbon and branch as long as I live. That suit you? Just about. It's not too bad. There's just one small thing. What? Look at this. What are you doing? <laughs> Good fingers. Ooh, I'll get you for that. I'll see you at the nurse's station, and I'll give you a prescription then. All right. I'll see you out there, Doc. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's great to see you in such good spirits again. It's great to be feeling this way. When I visited you here after the accident, I was real afraid for you. Well, there's no reason to be now. No reason at all. <laughs> I have missed you, darling. I missed you too, Harlan. I should be walking out with you. Don't you even think that. But I'm entering the contest, too. Listen, you keep that under your hat, you hear? But no buts. You need this job, and you know you do. True. Okay. And, uh, don't be hand and dragon lady any more ammunition, okay? Good. Well, I guess that's it. Hey, what's with the goodbyes? We're still going to be seeing a lot of each other, right? I hope so. No question. I don't think it hasn't been real, India. A real pain. <laughs> A word to the wise, Peggy. Stay away from that contest, or you'll be the next to go. Alexandra, please take it easy. I said get out. There is no sense in going on like this. I've come here to try and make peace. Forget it. And Alex, at least hear him out. It's not necessary. There is nothing he can say that will make any difference. I know that you're holding a grudge about the Lewis trial. A grudge? I wouldn't honor you with that. You don't hold grudges against traitors. You simply remove them from your life. And that's exactly what I've done. I want nothing more to do with you. And Alex, Ross came over and you I to try... And I want nothing more to do with you. 
either. Until you come to your senses about India and your duty to your family. When and if that happens, Philip, you give me a call. But don't bother otherwise. Yes, Sandra. They're waiting for me. No, we will not have to reschedule the meeting. I am through here. Tell them I'll be with them in a moment. You two may show yourselves out. But don't linger. I don't want to find either of you here when I get back. <laughs> Does this mean that you're not angry anymore about my having this job? Darling, you are the most precious thing in my life. You're so precious that I... I guess I got to thinking I just had to put you away for safekeeping. But that is not right. All I want is for you to be happy. So, if holding down this job is what it takes to make you happy, then you have my wholehearted blessing on it. I love you. Oh, I love you. I have a promise to make. Hmm? What's that? It is that nothing and nobody is going to suffer because I have this job. Not you, not little Billy, not our house, <laughs> no. nothing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you have to take care of all that stuff. I know I don't have to. I want to. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I've organized an art show for the club next week. Ah, now this is something that you will need to help with. No, I don't. It's all done. <laughs> you really are amazing. Well, yeah. I guess that's why you married me. Oh. <laughs> I want you to make me one little promise there, super lady. Name it. You won't get carried away and open up your own law office, will you? Oh, no. You don't have to worry about that. At least not till after I've uh, taken my law courses and passed the bar. <laughs> 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 So what's with Alexandra? I've seen her angry before, but never like this. I don't know. It's not just because of you. I know that much. Yes, you were on the firing line when I walked in, weren't you? Mm-hmm. Why's that? It's because I won't knuckle under and take orders from her now that I'm free of India. What does that mean, free of India? It means I'm getting divorced. I see. Is that all you've got to say? I expected at least a minor cheer from you. Oh, I'll cheer as soon as I'm sure that you'll go through with it. Remember, you have made this announcement before. <laughs> I remember. There's no turning back this time, Ross. I hope not. Are you so skeptical that you'd rather not handle my divorce? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll take this case. I'll take this case with pleasure. The other side of the river, that's not such a great neighborhood. Oh, it's fine. Oh, and Harlan, the house is so perfect. It reminds me so much of the place Mama bought us right after Pop left. Well, then, I can see why you want it so bad. Oh, I just hope that real estate agent guy can cut through all the red tape and give me the green light. Maybe I can make a few phone calls, hurry things along. No, thanks. You want to do this on your own? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, H.B. Here you are. Make another appointment to see me in about six months, okay? I'll do that. And thanks again, Doc. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, no. Oh, I can make it to the car on my own. Are you sure? Sure. Take care of yourself, darling. I just wish you'd do the same. Oh, I'm fine. It... Okay, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. This has been Guiding Light.
provided by Lily Rubin Salon South Southwest and Barney. Jewelry by Miriam Haskell. with us tomorrow for another full hour of Guiding Light.